Did you know i to the power i is a real number? Here's why. So let's begin by looking at what i to the power i equals. Well, we can begin by using the fact that a equals e to the natural log of a, similar to what I did in the video where it talks about one to the power i, right? So we can begin by saying this equals e to the natural log of i to the power i, right? And then we can use the power rule here. So this will equal e to the power i times the natural log of the i. And we could try using Euler's formula here, except we'd run into an issue where we would have cosine of natural log of i, and that's going to be a whole mess, right? But what we can do is use Euler's formula to figure out what else i equals. Let's just recall Euler's formula is e to the i x equals cosine x plus i sine x, okay? Then from here, what we want to do is, let's think. If we put in x equals pi over 2, what happens? e to the pi i times pi over 2, right? This will equal cosine of pi over 2 plus i sine of pi over 2. Well, cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so that goes away. And sine of pi over 2 is 1, so this just equals i, okay? So now we can take this and we can plug that in for i. So, and we're, but we're going to keep this i. So we get e to the i times the natural log of, let me take this, e to the i times pi over 2. Then, once again, we can use the power rule, and we get this equals e to the i times i times pi over 2, right, times natural log of e. Well, natural log of e is 1, so that goes away, right? And then we get e to the i squared times pi over 2 right? Then i squared is negative 1, right? So our final answer is e to the negative pi over 2, and that is in fact a real number, and this shows i to the i does in fact, the principal value of that is in fact a real number. Thank you for watching. Let me know if I say anything wrong or if you have anything additional to add. Have a great day.